Major Millers in today's video we are going to not to build but to restore old plastic soldiers. Here you can see the three types. I've got the soldiers from my good friend called in the playground and my job is bring these old plastic figures like 20 years old to the new life. Here you can see the rifleman with a lot of mold lines. I chose these two. And of course like on all plastic models and figures I must clean the very pronounced small lines. Same on this leg. And somehow cut the excess plastic on this helmet. On these old figures is so much mold lines and cleaning. And of course sandpaper or sanding sticks. When it's cleaning done I try to melt down the excess plastic with thin glue. And still some cleaning the cloth. And of course I'm trying to smooth them to the smooth finish. What I'm trying now is the melt down plastic with thinner. I thought this method will be helpful before the painting because I thought that this liquid which is Savo then can rub down the grey color. And finally we are going slowly to the painting of these miniatures. When I start with this project I don't have a black primer so I spray the soldiers with a black color. And after the black color I start spraying th this soldier with green from Vallejo. I decide to paint these like from World War II. One is a German and second is a Russian. And as you can see, I of course do some highlights with a lighter green color. And here you can see the spring of the German soldier, same with lighter green. And now I start painting the details like this helm. And of course, gloves with black. And don't forget on the faces. Now I trying to bring these faces some shadow. And when it's painting done, I start painting the uniforms with animal color Dunkel Green. And of course, same color on this Russian soldier Dunkel Green. If you're asking why you don't use like acrylic colors, because I don't have the right shade for this. And I use for the whole painting just Da Vinci brushes. And finally I start painting the classic German camouflage with three colors. I start with black. I like this camouflage type because it's easy and, uh, and it looks awesome. And now let's paint some grey with ammo make. And 
And don't forget on the jacket, of course. And of course, painting the weapon with gunmetal color. And of course, this wooden part of the rifle. I think it is M1 Garand. And of course, some little details like this back. And same on the back. And this one I'm paint with black color. And here we have our Russian soldier. I painting like uh, these grenades with black. I'm painting the belt with a leather brown color and of course these stripes on the back and now I'm painting of course the grenades and of course don't forget on these little details like this And now I'm making some highlights on the weapon. And same on the wood part of M1 Garand. And of course some highlights with paintbrush on the cloth and I use the brush from Emomic. And I paint this part on his jacket with something like a red and brown color. Another small detail and that is the white cross on the helmet of this German soldier. And the Russian soldier with grenades get the classic USSR Red Star. And we are going slowly to the finish. Now I'm mixing first type Gunze Clear Varnish. So I sprayed the whole soldiers with clear varnish before applying washes. I started applying wash made from oil paint, but after that I decided to apply wash from Amomic. It is a dark wash and I use it of course on the whole figure and on some spots on these trousers it looks quite good I must say when it's still wet of course and of course like always after some dirty work must come cleaning with enamel thinner Of course, don't forget on the cotton swap, it is a useful tool. And the last touch on the soldiers is matte varnish from Vallejo. Of course, the German soldier too must get a varnish. And here you can see the finished Russian soldier. It looks amazing, I must say. It took me like uh, two hours to paint all soldiers together. 
And here you can see, of course, the German one with some highlights, dirt from wash, and it looks amazing. And here you can see the soldiers standing side by side. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.